Hello, welcome back again to the Django Beat channel. My name is Stuart Gauntlet. Um, today, um, I'm, I've, it's been a while, <laughs> um, I'm going to talk about the basic fingering of the G major bebop scale um, that I use um, for practice, to go up and down, to go up and down. Now, um, the uh, G major, why have I chosen G major? In a sense, I see the G major key as the uh, home key of Gypsy Jazz. A lot of the songs, a hell of a lot of the songs are in G. Um, so it's going to be quite an important one. Um, this is going to take a while. I'm going to sort of explain each finger as they move. This is how I do it. And if there's time, I'll explain why as well. So first of all, we're going to crack on. Let's get a movement up the scale and down the scale because they are different patterns. The going up is different than going, coming back down again. And there are reasons. Hopefully, I'm going to be able to get into that. If not, it'll be the next video. But this will just show you what I do. Okay, so we're going to start with uh, a G. Middle finger on the third fret of the low E. That's going to be a down stroke. We're going to try to have, we are going to have alternate picking, but with rest strokes following all of the gypsy picking rules that you will have learnt before. Down stroke on the G, up stroke on the A, little finger onto the uh, fifth fret of the, of, the, of the low E. Down, up, down, B. This is on the A string, the second fret of the A string with the index finger. Down, up, down, up. Now I've slid, I just slid my finger across to the third fret on the same string and on the B string to the, to the C. I slid it across, but I struck. Now normally when you play guitar, you probably will have done You use slides as legato only. In this, you're going to have to use them a different way. Slide, strike, upstroke. So, one, two, three, four. Down again. Middle finger on the fifth fret of the A string. Okay, it's a down stroke. Okay. Actually, use your, use your ring finger. I change sometimes. Ring finger onto the, the D of the, of the fifth fifth fret of the A string. Little finger, now on the sixth fret of the A string. Okay, it's an upstroke. Make that reach, get your index finger onto the E of the D string, the second fret of the D string. Now, middle finger onto the fourth fret, the F sharp of the D string. It's an upstroke. Slide in to the G. It's the G on the fifth fret of the D string. Slide into the strike. Okay, down stroke. Up stroke. Little finger on the seventh fret of the D string. Okay, index finger on the fourth fret of the G. On the fourth fret of the G. The note being B. Okay. Okay. You've now got the index finger on the fifth fret of the G and you've slid into the strike again. Upstroke. Slid into the upstroke. Okay. Slide into it. Ring finger is now on the D of the, uh, the the seventh fret of the G string. Okay. Little finger is now on the eighth fret. Okay, it's an upstroke, eighth fret of the G string. Index finger is now on the fifth fret of the B string. Middle finger, there's a reason for this you'll see. Middle finger comes across to the seventh fret of the B string. Now the middle finger slides into the strike which takes you onto the G, the tonic, 
and it's the eighth note of the B string. Little finger is now on the tenth fret with an upstroke onto the tenth fret of the B string. Index finger is now on the high E. It is on the seventh fret of the high E, downstroke. Slide in to the eighth fret on the E string with your index finger. Slide into it. Slide into the strike. Okay? Middle finger now on the tenth fret. It's on the D, the tenth fret. Ring finger now on the eleventh fret. It starts to sound a little bit wrong. When it's done in succession quickly, it's not. Okay, so your ring finger is now on the eleventh fret. It's an upstroke. Little finger is now on the twelfth fret. It's a downstroke. Okay, now we're going to start. That's going to be the first note of the dissension. Okay, as we go down, back to this position. When you go back and learn this, you'll see that the the pattern that we use to go down is different. This is to this is the reason why to allow there to be an even number of strikes per string, and to keep a um, a chord tone on every downbeat, and for every downbeat to be a downstroke of the plectrum. Okay, so here we're going to start the the, the dissension. Okay, so you've already done. <laughs> Upstroke with your ring finger on the 11th fret, downstroke for your middle finger on the 10th fret, upstroke with your index finger on the 8th fret. This is where it changes, so it's an upstroke. Your, your plectrum is in position to then come down another string. It allows you to change string quickly. So that's where we change. We don't go to here, we change to this one. Little finger on the 12th fret with a downstroke. Upstroke with your middle finger on the 10th fret. Downstroke onto the G. Slide into an upstroke to take you to the 7th fret of the, the B string. So upstroke, you can now change string again because your plectrum is in the raised position. Little finger onto the 9th fret of the G string with, the, with a downstroke. It's the 4th, it's the chord tone. Sorry, the 6th, it's the chord tone. Upstroke. Your ring finger is now on the 8th fret of the G string. Downstroke. Your middle finger is now on the D string, which is the 7th fret of the G string. Upstroke. Index finger is now on the C. It's on the 5th fret of the G string. With an upstroke, again allowing you to change string while staying in alternate motion. So it's in an up position. Downstroke. Little finger hits the third, which is the, the B, the B, which is on the ninth fret of the D string, okay? Down, up, up stroke. Your middle finger is now on the seventh fret of the D string. Another down stroke. Your ring finger is now on the tonic, the G of the D string. So down, up, you slide into the strike, you slide down into the strike, so that your index finger is now on the 4th fret of the D string. Now, downstroke. Your little finger is on the 7th fret of the A string. Downstroke, upstroke. Your ring finger is now on the 6th fret of the A string. Down. You're now on the 5th on the of the chord. This is the middle finger on the 5th string. At the sorry on the on the A string of the fifth fret down stroke up stroke with the C index finger on the C, okay so that's an up stroke, which allows you to then change string again with a down stroke and land on the third of the chord which is the um, the B, which is on the seventh fret down stroke up stroke onto the A, with your middle finger on the fifth fret of the of the low E string and down stroke again so that you are now home. <laughs> All right, I'm going to try and do all of that in succession and hopefully not make mistakes. Mm -hmm. 
So, you've arrived. That is the G major bebop scale and it's a suggested fingering, okay? It's a suggested fingering to get things started. Okay, hopefully that's making sense. Um, now, um, one of the things that we're going to be doing is looking at how to create exercises for yourself out of this because you don't want to be just going up and down and, and, and stuff like that. Um, any exercise <clears throat> should be helping you to unlock your the music that's in your head um, because you're going to have to do it very quickly when you are um, improvising. Um, so um, hopefully, hopefully you're looking forward to the next video. The next video is going to be covering more of the usage of um, this scale. There are more scales than just the major bebop, there's the Dorian bebop, the Locrian bebop, the Mixolydian bebop scale um, and we'll get into that with time. We have to nail down the concepts of how it's used and well, how you can use it um, to open up lots of other possibilities before we get into all of the heavy theory. Um, make it practical first, um, get it into your muscles, get it into your, your way of thinking and it will help you in time. Okay, for now, um, let's just leave it there and um, subscribe, yeah, uh, click like, click an ad or two to help donate to the channel, please, um, and come back and, uh, well, just keep your eyes peeled. I'll send something up in the next couple of days. See you soon. Bye.